I hope you are doing well. A quick impromptu video. I have with me the Ares Inferno from Crusader Industries. I figured I would offer my experiences with the Inferno as well as share some footage I captured so you can sit back and relax at how amazing the ship is. All while cramming in some of that nice, sweet Microtech cloud action. And yes, to answer your question, I did notice a slight FPS hit. But no, it is not like Orison. She's a Crusader ship and stunning to look at. I noticed that the hull did seem very difficult to take damage, as expected, as the Inferno is more armored, whereas the Ion has extra shields, because in the lore they say the battery capacity on the Ion allows it to have stronger shields. So that's the balance between the two as far as defense goes. Though yes, if you are going the offensive route, I do expect many quick deaths with this, due to the range of the ammo. It can be fired from very far away, and will absolutely become a new toy for griefers to use on space stations. And here I wanted to show a quick peek at her components. One of the first things I noticed was that beautiful crossfield drive. To those concerned about her ammo quantity being a ballistic ship, I felt it was fair. I made sure to run this sucker dry. I never felt limited, but also pulsed the trigger as if you just squeeze until she runs dry. I do imagine that she would run out pretty fast. But bear in mind, if you start pulsing the trigger, it does take time to have those cannons spin up. So it'll take practice to get the timing right. But still, it is an acceptable ammo count for those who are worried. Be advised, this ship gulps fuel. It did not take long for me to go down 25%. And this is not limited just to normal fuel, but her quantum fuel. Even though she's got that beautiful crossfield drive, going from Microtech to Hurston L3, expect to use up 95% of your quantum fuel on the tank just getting there. So you will be refueling on the way back. It's a small ship, so par for the course. I was curious to see it simply hit some ships. And granted, these were some weak ass ships, but it was the fastest thing I could get to. Oh, did she hit hard. But the trade-off is going to be those little micro-adjustments in order to stay on target. And small ships have that agility, so don't go around expecting to dominate the stars with one shot. If you can't hit it, you're not going to DPS it. So any smaller ships that were worried they would have no chance, your agility is going to be able to have you dodge these, and I really wouldn't worry about it. The same way a small ship should not need to worry about a size 9 torpedo. You can definitely tell these ships are meant for larger ships. Unshielded ships on landing pads are in for a whole new version of hell though. Her initial acceleration is insane, so be careful. A swarm of these will easily ruin the day of a capital ship. And dare I say, almost too easily. But we won't know that until we see it in action. Maybe on the next Xeno threat, I expect to see loads of Ares running about, and we'll have our answer. Big shout out to the Griefer, who inadvertently gave me a great closing shot as I was logging off the game, I literally wanted to thank him because it wound up giving me something really wonderful by accident. But, but of course, the game bugged out and I crashed after the ship blew up. Is what it is. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for taking the time to watch up until the end. If you enjoyed this content and would like to see more, please be sure to like and subscribe as well as ring that notification bell as that does help support and grow the channel and I would greatly appreciate it. So until next time, stay badass. This is Gypsy Ronin, out. Security forces have reason to believe members of Green Squadron have breached corporate city defense protocols. Be aware.